Back in action, your boy Mikey B in the flesh talking about b-ball. I got to get these done quick because the season is about to come on. And we got to get into the west side, the west coast. We're going to take a look at the Denver Nuggets. Yeah, the big threat from last year. What I talked about is one of the scariest teams on my old channel, Off Work Sports. Go check that out. And I used to talk about how deadly they were because of all the pieces they had in play and they could put in play for this team. Let's look at this year, 2021. And really how they changed up the lineup and how I think it affects them. It's a different ball game now with the Denver Nuggets. I hate to say it. In my opinion, they've lost a lot of the threats that made them dangerous. But let's go over that so we can see kind of what position they're in in current state. So free agent wise last year, they had a couple things that were running, fl running fluid. We talked about Jeremy Grant, one of my, their starter. Starter last year was a significant player for their team really held most of the stats when you look at it from an all-around perspective and he is now gone he has gone over to the Dem to the detroit pistons and it's going to help that team out i'm going to get that video out on how dangerous the detroit pistons will be next up mason Plumley. it's like they come up in tandem it's crazy Plumley goes over with grant over to detroit i mean they let these two guys go i guess Money is a thing for real because they couldn't pay for these guys and had to let them go. And I think it hurt them. I think it hurt them big time. And we're going to go over it. Now, there's guys that can step up, and we're going to talk about that real quick. I'm going to throw in a couple names out there. You know, Porter Jr. kind of had a coming out season last year. And then we had our boy, D, uh, my boy, uh, Bo, 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 coming in and possibly maybe taking over some of the lost, uh, oomph. That you got with Jeremy Grant and Mason Plumbing. Noah Vonley, a guy that they didn't really utilize, goes over to the Chicago Bulls. They waived uh, Cage Bates Diop, and I heard Tory Craig was gone. I mean, what what a big change up of this lineup for this team. Just makes it pretty interesting to what we'll see for this year as we look at some of the additions and changes. I didn't go over Troy Daniels. I got to understand what's happening with that activity there, but let's get into the rest of the lineup here, right? So now in current state, who do they have now? Who do they sign to make up for the losses? P.J. Dozier had an excep exceptional, in my opinion, in the time that was given. Great, great job done in the playoffs this year for P.J. Dozier. So they signed this kid back. They went ahead and went out and signed Isaiah Hardenstein, Again, Plumlee is more flashy in my opinion. By flash, I mean he's a dunker. I love dunkers. And Hartstein is more of just a straight rebounder. They're probably going to do the same things. At the end of the day, Hartstein may be able to play the you know the rebounding role. I just feel like Mason Plumlee is definitely a level up. And it was a bad loss in letting him go. The problem is he wasn't getting minutes. Greta Whittington is signed on in a free, free agent. A two-way contract. We'll see what's going on there. They re-signed Bo Bo. Then the out of perspective look who they got because I thought their offense needed a true point guard. Monte Morris is not a true point guard in my opinion. Jamal Murray is also not a pure point guard in my opinion. So they had our man in the center, Jochik, kind of managing the Jochik managing the whole team. And then they go out and get a point guard out of Argentina. Yeah, Argentina boy, Facundo Campazzo. The name says it all. We don't got to say nothing else. It's a wrap. Facundo comes in as possibly the point guard of the future. Born in 91, I believe, you know, 28, 29 years old, somewhere around there. In his prime, a tremendous passer and creator. I think it was a great pickup. Jamaica Green resigns. Okay, again, they're trying to make up the size lost by Jeremy Grant and Plumlee. And they're kind of doing that. Jim Michael Green, he may have uh, a little bit better range than, obviously, better range than Plumlee. But I really like Jim Michael Green coming in. A hard no. These Hartstein and, and Mike Jim Michael are hard nosed guys. So it's not a flashy rebound for 20, 10 or 15, but the job will be done in the same with the same statistic. They're still going to get 10 to 15 rebounds in between the two if given the minutes. They went ahead and got one side, another scoring guard in Marcus Howard. Uh, see how he ends up with this team. A tremendous score at the college level. Let's see if he can make the team. RJ Hampton. A serious pickup here in the draft. They, again, 
this kid could prove to be another uh, a, a tandem with Mr. Jamal Murray. I think they have the same level of, I would say, peak. And R.J. Hampton is a steal of the draft. I just would have loved to see him play with Jeremy Grant and, and Mr. Mason Plumley. Zach Najee was a scratch head, head scratcher for me. We'll see how he ends up because a couple guys surprised me in the draft and then they re-signed Monte Moore. So now, as we look at the current roster, you see the additions, right? We talked about that. They they lost they lost Craig, but they, you know they brought in a couple other guys that kind of fill the role. Will Barton comes back this year. Bo 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 comes in as the I'm gonna put him as a power forward center, and then you got Facundo. He's probably gonna be the backup point guard. Troy Daniels returns, uh, and then Gary Harris is still there. Jochik is still there. Millsop is still there. Murray. Uh, and then Mike Porter Jr. So we like to see what they have at current state because they did not have Will Barton last year. So that was the big difference maker. He was injured. You figure Will Barton comes back to full health. He may be able to take off a little bit of the sting there was by losing Torrey Craig, a big defensive anchor for this team. I still don't see a guy on the roster right now, though, that can truly re replace the defense and the hard-nosed um, 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 competitive uh, nature of a Tory Craig, but we're gonna Michael Porter is gonna have to step up and some other guys if they want to continue to grow into a all potential All Star potent, uh, type talent. So now as we look at you know we talked about the new roster and the and the team and players and who we got. Don't too, know too much about Vlaco Konkar, uh, but we know about the X factors. Let's get into that. The big four for me, the guys that will matter. Uh, obviously, it's gonna be Jamal Murray is the number one. Uh, Nikolai, from a scoring perspective, Nikolai Jokic is their superstar, right? Now, who's going to be the number three guy? Millsap is older. Yeah, a couple years back, Millsap would have been the guy. He's still playing well, but he's older. Can't rely on him like that. It's going to have to be Michael Porter Jr. Michael Porter Jr. is going to have to step in as the new, the new freaking lead for this team. So it's interesting to see how he will turn up in this offseason with the third option on his slate. Now, where's the fourth guy? So I see you saying, it's only big three, right? What are you talking about, bro? Big three, LeBron, uh, Bosch, and Wade. No, 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 no. It's a new lead now. You need four guys now to be able to compete. So the fourth guy, will it be Bobo? Don't think they'll give him minutes. I just don't see it. There's nothing here that's ready at this time. There are potential guys. There's an RJ Hampton. There's a Bobo. You know, maybe Facundo goes nuts. I don't know. But with this current roster, Gary Harris is another guy. Is there a fourth guy on his team? There isn't. And I'm worried about it. And I don't think this makes them a better team than last year. You see, last year they had Jeremy Grant. So I could go Jeremy Grant, Mr. Uh, uh, Michael Porter Jr., Jamal Murray, and Jokic. Because I think, I think Jeremy Grant was a legit number four. However, now... I don't see that, but there's this guy, Bobo, that may step into that role and may prove me wrong. So now, as we talk all that punyash, let's get into it. Let's look at the Denver Nuggets and where they line up as far as the Western Conference and how they end up and where they're gonna where they're gonna land as far as uh, a, uh, um, a, a conference play. And and I think they are probably maybe here, here goes my negatives. They're a team that's going to be struggling to make it in the north in the, in the West Coast to make the playoffs. I can get nagged all I want. All I'm telling you, they are now they've now moved into a sixth or eighth seed, in my opinion. Okay, from going to maybe one of the top four teams in the West, losing Jeremy Grant, which was huge, Mace Plumley, Tory Craig. These are starter guys, right? These are potential except Mason Plumey, who but in, in, in times he at times he started, these guys are in a herd of trouble. And with the reloaded West Coast, right? You got Lakers, Jazz got better, Memphis got better, New Orleans got better, right? Houston, I I whew, James Harden, we're gonna get into that. Golden State, do they come back in? Then you got the Mavs who are waiting and hunting. If the Blazers can wake up, finally, the Clippers can wake up. They're 0-3, by the way. Wow. Um, the Phoenix Suns, 
Denver has a tough road ahead of them. I don't know if they make the playoffs. That's what I'm saying here. They're going to have a struggle. That's my pick. Mikey, step it back with the facts, man. I'm just giving you the numbers. Uh, Stat-wise, I didn't go over that, but I think I kind of gave you the high level of the player because it'll make the video too long. But at the end of the day, they lost a lot of athleticism, uh, a lot of uh, playmaking, a lot of pressure off of Jamal Murray with the with the other threat and improved Jeremy Grant. And now they're kind of left with a team that I don't think is as scary as last year unless they have a boat, 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 boat magnification uh, to get them somewhere else, right? So I'm going to sign off here. I appreciate you guys. Please like, subscribe, and share the video. It's your boy, the Stack Back Kid, Mikey. I'm out of here. Peace.